Okay, where are we going? So, man, headed to uh, Boston, Massachusetts, about to fly out. We got the Helix event. We're doing uh, the prelims for Valorant uh, for PAX Arena. And then uh, on Saturday, we follow that up with some Rocket League there in Foxborough. And then, of course, uh, we got the showcase at PAX Arena. going to be a lot of fun there on Saturday. So, can't wait. See you guys on the plane. talk to players in person compared to online is you do you get to feel out the players a little bit more um, see the type of person they are their characteristics and, um, just a way that maybe they would be able to perform under uh, a live situation instead of online because most everything's online so when it does come to those far and few in, in between in-person events it, it kind of shows how well they do under that pressure as well something that when I'm looking for players is, um, I think confidence is a big thing. I always let anyone know who asks questions about or looking to get into college esports is to build that track record of their history. Um, try to compete in as much as possible. Um, experience is huge. That's So really that's, that's probably the biggest thing that I look for is experience. For me, it was the unknown. You know, you've been to football games, you've been to soccer games with them growing up, but had no clue what to expect here. Um, and it's it's been educational for us as parents. You know, it's not just gaming. It's yeah. it's real. Yeah. And there's there's excitement and, and there's the back and forth um, between the teams. It, it, was, it was phenomenal for me. Yeah. I, I loved it. It's been really awesome. Uh, the vibes are good. People are really competitive. Uh, lots of uh, high ranked players here as well that are just like kind of screaming at each other, but it's been really good. Um, really fun event so far. Just the, the camaraderie between his yeah. team, because it's like literally the first time he's met them in person. Yeah. So that was interesting to watch. And then for me, just understanding the game now. I, have, I just didn't understand it before, and now I feel like I know a whole lot more. What's kind of the big things that make LAN more exciting? Well, I've been to a few of them. I'd say that this is more like homey feeling than a lot of the other ones. I think he can say the same. It's This one was nice because everyone feels like like friends, you know? So yeah. it was cool for sure. Yep, yep, yeah, awesome. It's different when you're playing online against people you don't really see, but in person when you can go dab up the other team, like yeah. afterwards, it's just a completely different feeling. He played soccer when he was a little guy mm -hmm. and, and transitioning to gaming and seeing that there is a path, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's greater than than just sitting at home in your basement, as you said. Right. <laughs> exactly. It was fantastic. I think, I think the opportunities are just immense. I think we got a prodigy in the making. In yeah, the we got a freshman right here. Oh, How was playing on the land in front of colleges? You it was know, fun. yeah. Not a uh, lot of people know my name now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Watching some of their eyes open when they came into this this arena and seeing all the computers and all the setup and just the the oh my god we're actually doing some kind of competitive video game was was quite nice. Um, a lot of them have watched professional video game. They finally got to feel what it like, was like to be a more professional video game. Well, Esports provides that community that we literally have kids who are not going to do traditional sports, who are not going to do theater, who are doing gaming at home by themselves. But when you start an esports team, now they have a community of people that when they see them in the hall, they're saying hello and they're starting to build those positive relationships. Like having land events like this to be able to bring everybody to, seeing your opponents, being able to shake their hands and, and like have like other people clap you on and things like that is, is huge for morale. Yep. Um, and, and so yeah, it just kind of makes them hungry for more, which is great. Honestly, the whole thing was fun. Like yeah. 
Yeah, you don't get. I, I don't think principles never done this before. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I mean, like we're 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 the beginning of something that will hopefully come back year and year and year, season after season, and stuff. Yeah. And be able to compete here and eventually dominate. It's been great. Um, I have a, a bunch of some of the greatest characters on campus. Um, getting to see them joke around has been um, almost a blast from the past of college days of playing land games. So getting to see them out there has been um, really, really amazing. You know, as the coach and kind of directing the whole esports program, I was happy to see you know their improvement, their positive attitude. But then we've also had friends and family that came to check out the event and they were starting you know getting the opportunity to talk to them about hey this is what it kind of culminates in but there's a lot of the different parts that we want our kids to become aware of and become involved in and to have you know moms and grandparents that are like oh we kind of get it now so to be able to explain that to them while they're in this environment was a very positive thing the venue is amazing and honestly like you know I would I would I would kill to come back here yeah. again, you know? Our IGL for our team, Red Dot, he was like, Hey, would you wanna like come to this land? I was like Screw it. <laughs> why not? And then uh that's when I kinda looked into it more. I was like, oh this is really cool. <laughs> Azu got us, <laughs> me and Walker, into yeah, it. He yeah. told us about it, so he's yeah. the main reason why we're here. I've been here for a while. Um, I think I got introduced by one of my ex-teammates, so I've been here playing weeklies and everything with him and with other teammates. Let's go! Let's go! I've been following Stay Plugged In for a while, ever since uh, college hit me up, and so I've just been active on the Discord, and I've been playing the Road to Radiant events. From the first minute I walk in the door, people see a face, people see the crest on my shirt, people know what I'm here to do, and you know I've, I've already talked with several people out there right, from uh, you know all over the place for Super Smash Brothers, uh, which I'm recruiting for here as well as Rocket League. I'm sure that's going to happen again. They know they you know. If I'm coming up to talk to somebody here, it's about talking about my program. It's about getting to know them a little bit, you know, uh, as, as a player and as, a, as an individual, a student as well. With the code that you guys uh, got to us, I saw that I had two messages from colleges uh, I'm planning on talking to sometime this weekend. It's kind of cool. Like, I text my mom about it. She's like, wait, really? <laughs> I was like, yeah. She was like, they have that? I was like, Mom, I told you this. She's like, I didn't think you were serious. <laughs> I, mean, I love the college representation here, and I love the um, the link to, to the college scene. And um, I'm learning as I go, so I may not have all the lingo down correctly, but um, I'm real proud of these guys. Um, they've, they've done really, really well. They won the championship for their league, and um, and that was exciting. So I'm excited to see what happens here. My son likes to be the, in the face-to-face -face, uh, mode when possible, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, in person. So, you know, I told him after that Chicago tournament, I was like, look, let's figure out where these tournaments are, get you some exposure. And if it's something you want to do long-term as a career move, then you know, we need to do it in conjunction with college. And so it was a perfect fit. Recruiting was a very important piece to, to keep the longevity of this program. And uh, somebody told me about Stay Plugged In. It was Chris Funston from uh, the St. Clair Saints up there, the other Saints in, in Canada. Um, so it told us about that. And I immediately got in touch with Suave. And it was, you know, history from there is like, here I am now at JCC because, you know, we're getting out there and this is, recruiting done right that's why we're here the saints gotta look out for each other you know the saints gotta look out for each other that's right <laughs>